Stanford University. OpenSim is a software package that allows you to create models of humans and animals in order to create simulations of how we move. The simulations are powered by muscles, so they're different than movies like Avatar, where those are computer generated, but they're not based on the physics and physiology of how people actually move. The Leonardo is a brand new science and technology museum in Salt Lake City that's using OpenSim as a part of of an exhibit on human movement. One part of the exhibit will allow visitors to the museum to actually have data collected about how they walk. We also created a pared down fun version of the OpenSim software. There's a soccer player and you have to generate the right muscle forces so the soccer player will kick the ball in the goal. Maybe your first instinct would be to crank the muscles all the way up, but if you do that, the ball doesn't actually go in because it's really a complex coordination of all the different muscles in the body. Something that's really exciting about OpenSim and why I'm excited to be a part of the project is because it's freely available software used by a community of people around the world. Some research in Italy are using OpenSim to help design human-inspired robots. A researcher in London is using OpenSim to figure out was a Tyrannosaurus rex actually able to run like we see in the movies. My PhD research was looking at children with cerebral palsy. One common movement abnormality is called crouch gait. So these kids walk with too much flexion or bending of their knee joint. If it's not treated, it eventually can put them in a wheelchair. It's really exciting to be part of something that's used by so many people for so many different applications and is having a big impact on science and human health. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.